hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again hey i know it has been a while and i'm so sorry for the um absence i'll say it is or for the time i've been away as i explained on my community tab it's just been so much going on in the background and again with school getting closer to the end of the academic year there's a whole lot of stuff to be doing um reports to write a lot of trips and things like that so it's been really manic trying to combine combine that and this so that's why i took a little bit of a break um but yes we are getting back uh things are not setting yet or well things are not calm yet i think for me things will be calm when we start the um summer term holiday but for now i thought okay i think i've been quiet for a while so let me come back to my people and um just to keep you guys in the loop i hope all of you have been okay i hope all of you have been all right um again good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are and wherever you're watching from you are welcome once again to my channel and again i apologize for the long absence hopefully things will be better uh, moving on from now right um again i want to say thank you to those of you who reached out to me who said oh we haven't seen you for a while where have you been um for all your lovely messages for those of you who i wrote to um independently explaining my absence and who understood um the reason why i was out thank you so much for your understanding i appreciate your love and your care for those of you who checked on me thank you so much i can't thank you enough thank you for looking out for me and for ensuring that I was all right. I was absolutely fine, but just um, busy with a whole lot of stuff. Okay, um, moving on to today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the things that highly asked questions on my channel so far since I've been away. Now, I've got lots of people who've emailed me, who've sent questions on the uh, uh, question tab asking, if they can come to the UK as a teaching assistant or as a TA uh, and have sponsorship for that. So I'm just going to be addressing that today in this video. It might be a two part video because I don't want it to be very long. So I might have to break it up into smaller chunks. Now, the first question is, who is a TA or a teaching assistant? Some people may not know what this is. So I'm just going to explain what it is and the role of a teaching assistant in schools in the UK. Now, different countries have different rules as to what a teaching assistant can do and all of that. But I'm speaking on my perspective as a teacher here in the UK. And also, I have worked as a teaching assistant. Okay, so don't be surprised. Um, so my perspective of that as well. Now, who is a teaching assistant? So a teaching assistant is, uh, is the extra sort of adult in the class who tends to work to support the children and the teacher. Okay. So you are basically like the classroom support. So you support the children, your, your duty and your post mainly to support the children as well as the teacher in that class. So the duties of a teaching assistant, for instance, might be uh, trimming up papers maybe if you've got a, a paper that wants to go into book and cannot go cannot fit in the book so you might do some trimming you might do some printing now those are like those are not the main jobs so those are like the side things that you do so you do some printing some trimming you put up the displays in the school you help the teacher put up. The, the teacher might plan the display and then your job will be to put it up uh, on the wall um you help now the, the main thing that you're there to do is to support the children in that class now, when I mean supporting the children is the teacher will teach a lesson and then your job is to ensure that maybe the ones who need a bit more extra support or help, you focus on those and you help them um, with their work for the morning or for the afternoon or for whatever it is. So you might find that in a class that might be one or two or, or maybe four or five children who need a little bit more extra support. So after the teacher has done the teaching, then we go to do the work. Now, those children might need a bit more help to explain the, the the work a little bit more help them guide them to be able to solve that particular question or work at that point in time now also a teaching assistant's job is to help like for first aid if there's anything in the class that needs first aid you need ice pack you need this you need that you're basically like the teacher's back eye in that class so you 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 see things that the teacher will not see because maybe they are far away up at the front teaching so your job is to keep 
track of the children in the class the teacher will also be doing this but because you're not you don't have that teaching role per se then you're more able to see things going on in the classroom children who did more support children who are struggling children who for some reason or the other are not behaving in the way that they should or you think that maybe they might be ill so your job is to look out for these little little silent things that are going on in the classroom and then feedback with the to the teacher and also help uh, those children support the, ch the teachers to help those children now so these are the main the main duties of teaching assistants now you might also be in one particular class so you might be assigned to one particular class i've been to schools where each class have a part uh, one teaching assistant so that is your class um i've also been to schools where in the entire school they have only two teaching assistants and you are shared across the uh, six classes or, or how many classes that there are in the school so um now with the government cuts and everything you find out that some schools are not employing as much teaching assistant as uh, as before so you might be you might be shared across classes or across year groups okay and sometimes teaching assistants might take on some lessons for instance if you are good in certain languages you might take those up um as and then you get paid for that so if you're for instance in my school the teaching assistants we have who who speak spanish so we do spanish as one of our languages in school so this teaching assistant who speaks spanish teaches the she, so she teaches spanish across the school so that's that's her, so that's also part of her job so she plans for that and she teaches that and of course she gets paid extra for because at this point in time she is teaching so she gets paid extra for that teaching role so if you've got any skill for instance most especially languages if you've got instruments but maybe not instrument because instrument might take a long might take you out of the class for a longer time which to be honest that's not what they need but I, I have seen teaching assistants who teach languages as part of their job and they get paid separately for that now what do you need to become a teaching assistant or how do you become a teaching assistant so for teaching assistant, the requirement in terms of academic qualification is you just need to have um, GCSEs grade 9 to 4 um, in maths and English. So these are the core ones, maths and English. So you need to have a grade 9 to 4 and 9 is an A star, um, eight, 9 8 is A star. Now this is GCSE grading, 9 8 is A star, um, uh, 7 is A, um, 5 6 is B and then four is c so you you expected to have one of those grades for math and english to become a teaching assistant and you don't need quite a lot to be honest you, you don't need quite a lot of qualifications some people say if you've got good enough english and maths you can write you can read you can spell then that's fantastic you can be employed as a teaching assistant now does that mean if i have a degree i can't be employed as a teaching assistant obviously not you can be employed as a ta with a degree with a master's with the phd it's it, it doesn't they, they don't they're not i mean if you've got all of these other extras you are i mean you'll be highly sought after and they'll be more than happy to employ you because then they feel that you are highly qualified and highly educated but you don't need a whole lot to become a teaching assistant so master and english is a good skill and that you can read and you can write and you're good at spelling now if you know that your maybe your subject knowledge is not very strong um as a teaching assistant then i would say probably avoid uh, going up to like year five and six and four where they you're required to do a lot of complex thinking and all of that so if you feel you're more confident with the younger ones your math and english grade is more confident with the younger ones then stay with the younger ones and do um and do that there rather than having to go to a year five four five six class where there's a whole lot of complex skills going on there Need any massive qualification so you, you you also have there have been for me i got on as a teaching assistant even with a teaching qualification and that's because i wanted to step down a bit i didn't want all the pressure that comes with teaching all of that i wanted to scale down and and spend less time planning and all of that and i became a teaching assistant even with a teaching teaching degree now some schools will employ a teaching assistant and they might employ you as a high level teaching assistant because i am already a teacher it all depends on the school budget the school might say oh we don't have the amount of money to pay you because i'm going to come to the pay in a bit so we, they might say we don't have that amount of money to pay you so they might say we'll just employ you as a normal assist teaching assistant but if you have a teaching degree 
you're more likely to be employed as a high level teaching assistant and as a high level teaching assistant you have more responsibilities so you can plan and you can teach a lesson let's say for instance your teacher is on the training the main class teacher is on the training or holiday or sick then you can plan and you can teach the class in place of the teacher also, even if your teacher is not is, is, is sick, as a high level teaching assistant, you will plan and you will teach certain lessons. So you might be sharing the class with your teacher in the sense that some days you will teach some lessons and other days you will become a teaching assistant because you are highly qualified. So that's what happens. Again, if you've got a master's, a degree, you can, you can, and you've got experience working with children, maybe not necessarily a teacher, you can, you can argue for a case to become, to be paid as a high level teaching assistant. But that one is a bit tricky um it's a bit tricky because you need to have you need to have shown that you've worked with children and all of that to be able to get that high level teaching assistance so those are those are the things that you need uh where i've talked about the qualifications that you need to become a teaching assistant and i've talked about um the grades that you need to become a teaching assistant okay now how can you apply to become a teaching assistant how can you get it so there are several ways to get into a school to become a teaching assistant number one you can um you can go to college to get uh, a qualification to become a teaching assistant so this would be a qualification in child care in not as a nursery nurse or something so you can go in to be uh, through college to train to become a teaching assistant um you can also go in through an apprenticeship so currently the government is um rolling out the teaching assistant apprenticeship i'll come to that in a minute so you can go in as that you go and do the apprenticeship so the apprenticeship means you spend some time in school working as a teaching assistant and then you spend other times uh, in college learning some people might say full time in school and you learn on the job others might say maybe two days of of ta and then one day at college um learning so again, that's an apprenticeship way. You can go in through volunteering, okay? Some people will go in to volunteer as a teaching assistant. When you volunteer, you're not being paid at all. You just volunteer, you go in maybe once or twice a week um, and you volunteer. And then through that, if, there, if there's a job opening in the school, then you can apply to go into the school as a teaching assistant. Or you might go in and you are so good that they don't want to lose you, then they might then create a teaching assistant role for you and then employ you in that capacity. Now, you can also apply directly to the schools, okay? So if you see a teaching assistant job going, you just apply to the school, they call you for an interview, and if you get in, then you if you get the job, then you get in and then you are known as a teaching assistant. Now, Again, few things that you can do to give you an edge to become a teaching assistant. If you've got languages that you can teach, French, Spanish, German, and if that school does that language, fantastic, that will give you an edge to get the job. Um, again, if you are good with SEN, so supporting children with special needs, if you've had a lot of experience supporting or teaching children, maybe as a lesson teacher or individual, maybe at church or something, you've had experience dealing with special needs children. That will also give you an edge in your application to get in as a teaching assistant. So I hope this has answered all of your questions. And um, again, if it hasn't, leave a comment in the section um, with your questions or comment in the section comments of this video. And I will address those as soon as I can. Again, you've got my email on this on the comment section. Uh, if you've got any questions and you want to get in touch, please reach me through my email, um, which I'm going to be putting down in the comment section below this email okay i hope you guys have a wonderful week and um i will see you sometime soon bye